Hello and welcome to a Mr. Panza Math video where today our main focus will be how do we draw angles. In a recent video we learned how to measure angles and I think you'll have a little bit more fun drawing angles and today you'll have an opportunity to use colored pencils to draw two line segments that meet at a vertex and measure a specific degree. In order to draw angles you also have to follow steps. The steps are ones through six. Let's take a look at these steps right now. Step one is using the protractor, you need to draw a straight line all the way on the left to all the way on the right. I'll show you that in just a bit. Step two is drawing a point on that line. This is eventually going to become your vertex, and I suggest that you draw this line somewhere close to the middle of your line segment that you drew in step one. Step three is lining up the vertex, that point that you just drew, with the bullseye of the protractor. We recently talked about the bullseye. That's that little circle that is typically where that upside down uppercase T meets in the protractor. If you're not exactly sure what I'm talking about, let me show you an example right here. Here is a protractor. If I flip it over the correct way, the T mark that I'm talking about is at the bottom here. It's an upside down T. And the bullseye is where that T meets and it looks like a perpendicular line segment, two 90 degree angles on either side. Another protractor looks very similar and the reason I call it a bullseye is because you can actually see a circle right there in the middle. So from now on, whenever you hear me refer to the bullseye on the protractor, that upside down T where the two line segments meet is what I'm talking about. So we'll line up the vertex with that bullseye. Step four is in our mind, once again, we're going to name this angle. Are we drawing an acute, right, or an obtuse angle? And then we'll write that down. Step five is drawing a point at the degree measure at the top not inside, but at the top of our protractor. Let me show you that real quick before we start the example. We're going to lay down our protractors, make sure that they're facing the correct way, and then when you draw the angle measurement point, you need to actually put it towards the top. You don't want to put it on the inside of the protractor because if the angle is really big, you won't be able to draw it on the inside of that protractor. Let's take a look now at the sixth and final step. Step six tells us to use that protractor to draw a straight line from the vertex again to the point created in step five. And then you've got to make sure that you mark the correct angle and give it an actual degree angle name. We'll show you all of these steps in action right now. Let me go ahead and shrink the steps, put them off to the side so you can still see them. And you can certainly refer to this video and pause the video and bring it back when you start to draw your own angles. So for the sake of an example, let's take number seven from the one we did in class today. A 165 degree angle is what they're asking us to draw. Now, without any steps, you may not know how to do this, but by following the steps that we talked about over here, you'll be in good shape. Let's take a look first at step one. I need to use this handy dandy protractor to draw a straight line at the bottom of my paper. So I'm going to go ahead and place the protractor flat down. Let me make sure that the numbers are actually the correct way. There we go. Now we're reading correctly. And I'm going to just draw a straight line from one end of the protractor all the way to the opposite end of the protractor. That's simple enough, right? Step one, draw a line. Step two, draw a point on that line. Now, you don't want to draw that point all the way over here on the left, and you certainly don't want to draw it all the way over here on the right. You want to draw it right here in the middle of the line. That way, if it's in the middle, you can certainly draw angles coming out of either way. Now I need to take my protractor again, and I need to line up the vertex, which eventually this point right here becomes our vertex, with the bullseye on that bottom part of the T. So I've lined it up. I also want to make sure that the T is lined up so that the line is flat right there with the protractor. Now I need to name the angle, this 165 degree angle in my mind. Well, I know anything above 90 degrees is 165 above 90, you bet it is, is an obtuse angle. So now that I know it's an obtuse angle, that will help me out once I get to step six. But right now I'm just going to line it up with a vertex and the T marker, and then I'm going to draw a point at the degree measure. Again, I'm going to draw that above. Now notice how I ran out of space here. That's the important part of just drawing that completely straight line at the bottom. I don't have to make my angle go to the left. I don't have to make it go to the right. In this case, I'm going to make it go to the right because I have enough space over here to actually create what I'm talking about. 
So over here, I'm going to go to my 160 degree mark. Now, we're looking for a 165 degree angle. This is where you really need to focus and pay attention. Understand that over here, it is counting up. Here's 150, here's 160, here's 170, which means in between from left to right, this 160 and this 170 is a little marker. It hangs a little bit further down, and if you counted, you'd go 161, 62, 63, 64, and 165. You would mark the angle point right there at the top. However, some students get concerned when it starts to go backwards. For example, let's say you were making this angle over here, and you came over here and you said, oh, here's 160. 165 must be right here when in actuality this is 155 because we're not reading left to right anymore we're reading backwards going down 100 110 120 130 all the way down to 160 which means 150 and 160 this marker here is not 165 it would actually be 155 and 165 comes in between the 160 and the 170 on my protractor which would be right here. So you really have to pay attention to the markers on your protractor depending on how you're drawing it. Let's go back to the original way we set things up. We set things up on our bullseye and our vertex and then our T mark was all measured out. You want to make sure that your protractor is not looking like this or like this because even though that the bullseye is lined up with the vertex here this T marker this line has to go with the line that you drew in step one so you're gonna make it a nice flat surface to where you can barely see that line anymore and then you're gonna make another point over here on the outside which we did earlier and now you're ready to complete step number five and six after we've drawn that point I can now play connect the dots I'm just going to go ahead and take my protractor, turn it into a ruler, and from my vertex line, draw a line segment that connects the vertex all the way out to this point. And I'm good to go. Now one final step is to make sure that you are showing anybody that you're drawing correct angle measurements. Remember that this is a 165 degree angle, so you don't want to tell me that you're measuring this inside angle here, because take a look, that is clearly not an obtuse angle. That is an acute angle. So to finish this problem up, you need to show anybody that you are drawing a correct angle measure by drawing the angle measurement line right there to say, hey, this is the angle that I just measured, and it is 165 degrees. We would be able to figure this out, but for now, all we have to do is draw an angle. I hope this video helps, and you use these six steps to draw angles each time correctly. Thanks, and have a great day.